Keeper. I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our new website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the, right, the left-hand side. And just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, what happens is that they it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can keep it for 29 days. works for you. Awesome. If it doesn't work for some reason, you can just let, let us know. We'll give you your money back. And when you get Basil's newsletter, he has approximately 10 to 12 archives out there so you'll really understand how he looks at the market and how to ride that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Well, looking at waves, you can see the different <laughs> waves that we have in the Dow. Uh, look at this daily chart. We made it in the Chapman wave. We made a peak F at 34,281 on the 16th of August. We pulled back, held the 200 period moving average that on the left side chart, this yellowish orange line. I uh, bounced a little bit. That's where we went sh uh, short via the uh, DOG. And we remain short because that for us is an intermediate term position. On the very near term, we've been trying every, uh, at least uh, almost every day, to buy the diamonds on a pullback. And actually, each time they've given a nice little bounce and then they've taken us out and they've gone to lower lows. Um, we did the same thing today. It had a really strong, it had a five point move up from uh, when we got in. We raised the stop, so we out for a little bit of a profit. But really, the, the idea was that in this H pattern, and let me just show you something here for those of you who are new to my work. And I'll do a little bit more in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll show some of these charts with these straight line up moves the cup and the arch formation and what happens when you have a combination of the two in this case red because if at a peak a or a b the first or second peak it starts to roll over most of the time it'll test the left side low if it breaks that low you have to do an assessment and look what happened right yet that peak a minus that was way back in august it made a little h pattern i call them the dreaded h it looks like an h and took it out and went sliding sharply lower it did the same thing early september ran up to an a and then failed a minus when zipping down couldn't hold the uh, Chapman Wave inside track support uh, level right there. And now we've done the same thing. And what I was saying in my show today is that <clears throat> in this particular move, the third or fourth bars to the downside is where you get this tremendous acceleration. So the fact that we had this spike to the nine period moving average, this little pink line right here, was really important because if we didn't have that and then we had the sell off. We would have had that extension that says uh, very quickly in the arch formation, if it starts to cascade lower, it'll go straight down and test that left side low, which is at Dow 28,715. Uh, 28, so, so far, we've held it, trying to come back. Now the Dow is up three, it was up over 300 points earlier on, it went down uh, sharply moments ago, and now it's trying to come back. So what I thought I would do right now is I'll explain, just in the, ba in the basis of what I'm always looking at, what would constitute a nice turn to the upside, one that has, that generates some momentum, not rather than these two, three, four day bounces and then it fails, so something that can last a little longer. So within that context, you can see the MACD, that's this, uh, these two lines right here, the moving average convergence divergence. It's cross positive and has held. That means the 0% line has gone above zero instead of being negative. So that's one, one important factor. The stochastic is above the 20% level. It's a 35. That's just okay. But it, but it is having a, a very good divergence from the low that was made at 28,715. And this little pink line, if you can see it right there, that's the nine period moving average. The black line is the 14 period moving average. And look what happened when they crossed negative uh, right there on that big plunge. That was August or was it 22nd or was it 26th? Yes. Um, that's where it turned pink and it hasn't turned green yet. So for me, it's really important to get more of a sustained move. In other words, you can have the torque, the the the, the 
kind of pull off from the first and second gear from the bottom. But you've got to get the momentum, and the MACD gives the momentum. And then the confirmation for me is the nine period turns green because it goes over the 14 period moving average. We're still very far, and that would say that you have to get to this channel wave inside track repellent zone, these green and, and purple uh, lines, little mini channel on the downside. And that you have to get above that. And that's going to take a lot of effort. And if we can do it, say by end of next week, we're actually trading about 30,500 in the Dow. That'll be the first time that we've seen some kind of upside uh, turnaround that can generate more time and price. And you can see the same thing in the weekly chart. And talking about those channels, you remember last week we were talking about the volatility index. And I said, it's really interesting that uh, the volatility index, I call this the inside track where you just join outer perimeters, that is the, the candles or the wick on the upside, and they lower lows from the high that was weighted 38.94 in the weekly chart back in the week of the 28th of January. And uh, each successively spike to the upside couldn't break that green line right, right up until three weeks ago. We went to 34.88. That's the week of September the 30th. Then we had a, a pullback. And now we've got a candle that I call the Chapman Wave Roman candle, this candle right here. And it says at any point, if this particular instrument that you're following, in this case, it's the VIX index on the weekly chart, starts to close on a daily basis, it has to be a shorter time frame, uh, below 30.50, that'll be for the market, it'll be a very bullish thing. So I've got the parameters set. Unfortunately, right now, as we're looking at it, what is it, with uh, 25, 35 minutes to go to the end of the day, this is the first time on a weekly basis that you've had a consecutive move higher above this trend line, this uh, inside track narrow way, uh, narrow uh, channel. And it's just a little bit above at 33.94. Hasn't taken out the 34.88 high of three weeks ago. So this, to me, is very important within... The next few days. Going to now, what is that chart, Bezel? Bezel. What, uh, oh, sorry, that's the volatility in oh, the VIX. VIX. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. So it's really important that that this starts to pull back and then hold under 30 for this mark to to really garner some kind of upside momentum. And I'm looking at a weekly chart, so we'll go Friday to Friday. So how it is only Tuesday. Yep. How it closes Friday is going to be very important. If we start to close above 35, that's going to increase the selling pressure. But the other thing is we've got a U-shaped pattern in the daily chart. <clears throat> we haven't made a turn, but I'll just show you that if we get this, the vertical line, you can see on this vertical line, the um, MACD was very strong. Stochastic was very, I'm just trying to move it over one bar. There it is. Now you can see it. And the, the stochastic fell. But right now, both are much weaker than they were. So this is a hint to say, what's the volatility index? If it finally starts to pull back sharply, that could be a big help. And tomorrow in my show, I'll talk about these um, inside tracks. I've got them in many of the charts. Very important uh, things that I look at. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Too.